In this and the next few videos, we are going to talk about linear models with a focus on simple linear regression. So what do we really mean by linear models? Remember, we have a dependent variable y and an independent variable x, and we are trying to fit a rela linear relationship between those two. Now in statistics, we say it's a linear model only if it is linear in terms of the parameters, which means that if we have a model of this form, where y is given by beta naught plus beta 1 times x plus some noise, epsilon is white noise, then it is linear in terms of the parameters beta naught and beta 1 and therefore this is an example of a linear model. What about this model then where y is beta naught plus beta 1 x plus beta 1 times x square? So we have a square term involved in it. Intuitively, you would say that this is a non-linear model. However, in statistics, we would still call it a linear model because it is linear in terms of the parameters. So in terms of beta naught or beta 1 or beta 2, it is still a linear model. And what then is the fallacy here? The explanation behind this is that, remember, in this type of modeling, we are not treating x as a random variable. So x is not a random variable. So x is our independent variable. It may be random in behavior, but we do not consider that to be a random variable. The only random variable here is y, which is our dependent variable, and that's what we are trying to model here. So here, this the second model would still be called a linear model because you can intuitively replace x square with another variable z. So now you can model in terms of x and z and see how the model is now linear. So you, you would write y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus beta 2 z. Right? And epsilon here is a noise term, white noise. So what is written here is epsilon belongs to the normal distribution with mean 0 and some variance sigma square. Now the noise always has a mean which is equal to 0 and that's because noise represents an error in your model and some of the errors are maybe additive and some of the errors may be negative. So when you take the sum of all the errors they tend to be 0. Their sum tends to be 0 and therefore the noise term belongs to a normal distribution with mean 0 and it has some variance sigma square. So this is what we mean by linear parameters. Again here to recall y is the dependent variable which also has different names. It's called response. It can be called as predictant and sometimes it is also called the output and x is the independent variable. It has other names such as attributes predictors and inputs or feature feature variable and so on and in this type of model here all we are trying to do is we are interested in the population distribution of y and how that changes with the different levels of x so we'll soon see what that means So, in case of uh, a stationary distribution, let's say you have, you are given some data set, let's say 50 values of marks of students in class, and I ask you to fit a normal distribution to that data. That essentially means that you are going to find out the mean and the variance, which are representing the location and the scale parameters of the normal distribution. So, if you have y, a random variable, belonging to a normal distribution with location mu and scale sigma square then it means that for a stationary distribution this would imply that 
the parameters mu and sigma square do not change so if you plot the probability distribution here probability density function so this is f of y and this is y and because this is normal distribution we'll roughly take the bell curve the bell shape where this is centered around the value mu and sigma square sort of represents the spread of this distribution right so when the distribution do, does not change over time or any other variable x so irrespective of the different levels of x this distribution does not change you can represent that graphically in this manner we'll plot it by rotating this figure 90 degrees so now this axis is y and let's say in this axis we have the independent variable x then at a certain let's say x equal to x naught and here it is x equal to x1 and so on right at x equal to x naught the distribution looked like this centered around certain mu so i would write mu of y given x equal to x naught right this is the distribution just note that i have rotated this 90 degrees that's all now at x equal to x1 if the distribution does not change it would still be centered around that same mu and the shape would also be exactly the same similarly at x equal to x2 it would look exactly the same and so on so the distribution of y is not changing with different levels of x this is what is meant by a stationary distribution and this is what any given if if you are asked to fit a distribution to a data set the and if nothing is mentioned then by default you fit the stationary distribution that means you find out the constant values of mu and sigma square if on the other hand your distribution changes let's say the mu changes right sigma square remains constant then how would this figure look so if we have and this is we are talking about linear models now which are also non stationary which means the distribution changes so this is my x this is my y and at certain x equal to x not x equal to x1 and x equal to x2 so at x equal to x not my distribution looked like something maybe it looked like this right so this is centered around mu of y given x equal to x not at x equal to x not it will have a different mu so maybe some other level maybe this value of this value over here that's where it is centered so now the distribution has moved and now it is centered at mu of y given x equal to x1 similarly it may shift to some other location parameter at x equal to x2 if we have changes only in the mu and not in the sigma square then it is called a homoscedastic model so homoscedastic means that sigma square is constant so this is what happens in simple linear regression in simple linear regression the population distribution of y which is a normal distribution 
it changes with different levels of x and the change is such that the change is only with respect to the, the mu parameter, the location parameter, while the scale sigma square remains constant. So this is what happens in simple linear regression.